To all the men and women, take a moment to picture a life where your income and goals are not only possible, but also a thousand times better than you ever imagined. As a speaker, I'm not the only person in front of you today. I'm also a messenger of hope filled with strategies and ideas that can help you reach success levels you never thought possible. It's been way too long since we broke free from the chains of mediocrity and chose to live instead of thrive. To my friends though, today is the start of a new journey toward financial success and personal happiness. Let's let go of the chains of doubt and fear as we start this journey together and instead focus on the endless possibilities that lie ahead of us because deep down inside our minds is the power to make our deepest wishes and hopes come true. We can open the vault of wealth that lies within us by making sure that our thoughts, beliefs and deeds are all in sync. But let's not be scared off by how big the job is. Instead, let's break it up into steps that we can handle, each one getting us closer to our end goal. With unshakable resolve and determination, let us move closer to our goals every day, knowing that every small victory brings us one step closer to the life of our dreams. As we learn the strategies and techniques that will help us reach new levels of success, let us do so with open minds and hearts, knowing that we all have the power to change our lives. Let's start this path of self-discovery and empowerment together, sure that we can reach greatness and open the doors to a future full of wealth and abundance. Imagine knowing every morning that your goals and income are about to go through the roof. I'm going to tell you how to grow your business by 1000%. Let me take you on a trip where everything is possible. There's no doubt that many of us have trouble reaching our goals and making more money. We tend to get stuck in habit and comfort, which limits what we can do. Things are going to change soon though. A growth attitude is the first thing that you need to do to be successful. Focus on chances instead of problems. Wait until the end of the movie to hear about John. He went from being an employee to a billionaire by changing the way he thought about things and using what I'm about to teach you. Now let's begin. Today I'm going to show you how to make your income, performance, and productivity go up by 1000% and then go up by 10 in the years to come. This method is built on the law of progressive improvement, which says that people get better over time. I call it the 1000% formula. Not everyone goes from being normal or mediocre to amazing all of a sudden. Keep in mind that it takes between five and seven years to learn your craft, become the best at what you do, and be in the top 10%. You should start soon. The law of accumulation is another idea that the 1000% formula is based on. This law says that success comes from a lot of small efforts and sacrifices that no one notices or values. In a beautiful poem, Henry Wadsworth said, extraordinary men and women who reached and mastered the high peaks did not achieve it with a sudden fly. While their companions slept, they struggled in their night ascent. This means that while most people watch TV, hang out with friends and have fun, those who will be extraordinary in the future are working hard and learning new things. Little by little, they get better. The simple key to success is to get a little better every day. This is called continuous and permanent growth. Now I want to ask you a question. Could you make 0.1% more progress in your work, performance, and success in just one day? You could get to work a little earlier, work a little harder, stay in the office a little later, and focus on your most important tasks to get a thousand times more done in one day. What do you think happens when I ask this question in a lecture? Yes, that can be done in 30 seconds. Each one says the second. They could do it again the next day if they did it the first time. They say, yes, of course. What about days three, four, and five? Of course. Could they do it all week? They might be able to get 0.5% more done the following week. If 0.1% for five days leads to 0.5% the following week, the people in the crowd would have answered if they really wanted to. Sure, if they got more done the first week, they could do it again, right? Adding, of course, at this point, an interesting thing called the momentum principle starts to happen. The flow of the situation pulls one along, like going to the gym every day. We already know that it gets easier each day, and that if you do it every day for a week, you can do it every day for the next three weeks. In one month, this adds up to 2%. People say, yes, you could keep getting better in the second, third, and fourth months. Yes, you could do it all year long. There are 52 weeks in a year, since there are 12 months with four weeks each. 
In a year, if you get better by 2% every month, you'll have gained 24%. You could be 24% more productive in a year if you worked on yourself, organized your time better, and focused on important tasks. Do you believe this? Of course, the answer is yes. You could get twice as much done in a month if you really wanted to. I think oh, 24% a year is a fair amount. I did that for a year. Then it was easy for me to do it the next year, the third, and the fourth. Yes, your income will go up by the same amount if you improve your performance, results, and output by 24% per year. In the same way, in three years, you will double your income efficiency and productivity. All of your efficiency, performance, results, and income would have gone up by 140% if you added up the results of the last 10 years. Strangest of all, if you improve yourself by 0.05% every day, 0.5% for five days, 2% every month, and 24% every year, you'll be 10 times better and make more money in 10 years. A young friend named Chris came up to me at a seminar in Seattle and said, it's been seven years since I took your seminar. I've been practicing your 100% formula every day, and it doesn't work. I asked, what do you mean? Well, I've been getting up early every day and also doing several of the things you recommended, but your formula doesn't work. My income didn't increase tenfold in 10 years, he said. I asked again, shocked. Then I saw him smile in a naughty way. In just seven years, I make 10 times as much money as I did when I first met you. Your formula is the most amazing thing in the world. It changed my life and made it possible for me to give my family a great life. We now live in a beautiful house and my kids go to private schools. It's truly wonderful. Here are the seven steps that make up the 1,000% formula. First, every morning, get up two hours before your first appointment or office time and read something educational, motivational, or inspiring for 30 to 60 minutes. You should read something that makes you better at the job you already have. As I said before, you can finish a book in a week if you read for 30 minutes to an hour. 50 books in a year if you read one every week. It takes 10 years to read all of 50 books. To store them, you'll at least need a bigger house. Now, in the next 10 years, you could make a thousand times more money if you only read for an hour a day and focused on work-related books. Second, write down and go over your main goals again every morning before you start the day. I think you should use a spiral notebook. Write the date and your 10 goals for that day at the top of the page. This will help you change them in your subconscious, bring out your superconscious abilities, and start the day with a very clear idea of what you want to accomplish. In the next 10 years, you can make 10 times as much money by rewriting and reviewing your key goals every morning. Third, plan ahead for each day. Write down your plans the night before. I'm adamant that you could boost your performance, results, and, and productivity by 25% just by planning each day. You'll start getting more done the first day you do this. In 10 years, your income will be 10 times what it is now. Fourth, make a list of your chores and decide which ones are most important. This will help you make the most of your time. This is the most important thing you can do to be successful. Pick out the most important thing you can do and spend the whole day doing it. This will change your life in ways you've never experienced before and in 10 years, it will make you 10 times as much money. Chef, use your car to listen to radio shows. Around the world, I always meet people who started listening to this kind of radio show and became hooked on it. They watch shows about setting goals, managing time, relationships, sales, business, and making money. This did change them as people, which is true because when you listen to audio programs, your subconscious stores the knowledge. People tell me over and over, I didn't know what to do in that situation, but then I remembered a phrase from an audio program. I repeated it or did what it said and it worked. You never know where a great idea will come from. That's why you need to understand a lot. I met a young man in San Luis not long ago who said he wasn't good at reading, but good at listening. Sadly, he did not have enough money to buy all six episodes of my shows, but he ran home for lunch. He asked his mom for the money. He bought the record when he got back. His family lived with him at the time, and he had almost no money. He also drove an old car. He told me, in four years, I've made over $500,000. People sometimes ask me, okay, but what if it doesn't work? What if it does? Can you afford not to try? The answer is, what did I do well? This is the first question you should ask yourself after every experience. For example, after a sales call or presentation, summarize what you did well and ask yourself what you did well. When I made a mistake, I used to sit down with a notebook and pen and write down everything I did right. 
The second question is, if I had to do this again, what would I do differently? Write down all the ways you could improve your performance. It's interesting that both questions have positive answers. Many people used to think that they had to immediately break down and ask themselves what went wrong. But think about this. Anything you think about, imagine, discuss, and remember will be reprogrammed into your subconscious. If you focus on reviewing your mistakes, they will make you more likely to make mistakes in similar situations in the future. On the other hand, if you focus on remembering what you did well and what you could do differently next time, you'll program your subconscious and make yourself more likely to do things well in the future. 7. Treat everyone you meet as if they were a million dollar customer. Start with your family and work your way outward. Remember that everyone thinks they're the most important person in the world. If you treat others as if they could buy a million dollars worth of your products or services, they will treat you with the same warmth, affection, and respect. Soon you'll find that the highest paid people in all fields are the ones who are liked by their customers and buyers because they treat them as very special and important. So as promised, let me take you on a journey that will inspire you and show you how the 1000% formula changed the life of someone who took the leap and believed in the power of constant growth. Meet John. The main character of a story that will show you that human potential is truly limitless. I had dreams, aspirations, and a vision of a better future just like you and me. But unlike many, John decided that he didn't want those dreams to be just that. Dreams. He set out on a journey of self-discovery and overcoming that would lead him to push his limits and rise beyond what he thought was possible. John used the 1000% formula as his compass. John's journey is a hymn to transformation through the 1000% formula. Let's dive into the story of John, a young man whose dreams and vision of a tomorrow full of possibilities. His desire to be more productive, perform better and make more money shone like stars in the sky. But he didn't want those desires to be mere shooting stars. He decided to turn them into bright constellations in the sky of his life. This journey, which he called the 100% formula, is an anthem to personal triumph and inspire transformation. John knew that big changes don't happen overnight, but through the patient mastery of each day. Like an alchemist of constant improvement, he embraced the law of progressive improvement, knowing that, like a dedicated sculptor, he would carve his excellence slowly. He chose to walk in the direction of perpetual growth, a path of consistency and passion driven by the law of accumulation. John made small efforts which were his allies, and each step, each choice, became a step that would take him to new height. John let the little things he did each day shape his future in the same way that soft water shapes rocks over time. He started using the formula in his daily life right away. Every morning, while everyone else was still sleeping, John, still energized from the night before, spent two hours reading books that were like growth seeds in his garden of knowledge. With every word, he was building stronger foundations for his future and cultivating a mindset that was rich in constant learning. Every day, John rewrote his main goals like an artist, painting clear strokes on a canvas of his life. Each stroke reinforced his purpose, and each word gave his goals new life. This daily ritual not only confirmed his dreams, but it also kept him focused on his desired future. Planning ahead became his daily compass. In the evening, as the sun went down, John planned his next day. He set priorities and a constellation of tasks in the vast sky of possibilities, weaving his day with the precision of a weaver, making patterns of efficiency and focus. When faced with problems and choices, John learned to ask himself two magical questions. What did I do well? And what would I do differently? These questions became beacons of his continuous improvement. Instead of lamenting in the darkness of mistakes, he lit his path forward with the glow of constructive self-exploration. The power of constant learning came in the form of a symphony of voices in his car. Each commute became a chance to soak up information, like a river waters the land it touches. John worked on the soil of his mind, turning his time into a harvest of wisdom. But the most important thing that changed him was how he treated others. Every meeting, every smile was an opportunity. John saw unlimited potential in everyone, as if each person were a shining gem representing a huge treasure. He treated everyone with the respect and attention that a million dollar treasure would deserve. Seven years later, John was at the peak of his own success. His productivity, performance and income, which had seemed like faraway stars at first, were now lined up in his sky of accomplishments. 
He shared his journey with others, showing that the 1000% formula is not just a formula, but a symphony of constant effort and determination. John's story is a dance of overcoming, a message that every day is a blank canvas on which to paint our growth. The seeds we plant today will bloom into a tomorrow full of unexplored possibilities. If you want to change things, every little thing you do or decision you make has the power to do so. John's journey shows us this and encourages us all to find our own way to greatness. To end, I want to share a quote from a visionary. The only thing that will stop us from realizing tomorrow is our doubts of today. Don't let doubts stop you. Trust yourself, your abilities, and the strategies we've talked about today. You are on the way to amazing growth. As we say goodbye to each other, let's think about the journey we've been on and the lessons we've learned along the way. The strategies and techniques we've looked at, they have the power to change not only our financial situations, but also the course of our lives. As you leave this meeting, remember that the path to success is not a destination, but an ongoing journey of growth and self-discovery. See the challenges that lie ahead as chances to grow and use them to fuel your unwavering drive for excellence. Know that with each step you take, you're getting closer to realizing your dreams and aspirations. But remember, friends, that success isn't just about getting rich or famous, but also about making a difference in the world around you. Do what you want with courage and conviction, knowing that, that you have the power to change your fate and make the life you really want. Let the lessons you've learned today guide you as you work toward your goals and may your journey be filled with plenty, happiness, and fulfillment. Thank you for letting me share this life-changing experience with you. May you continue to strive for greatness in everything you do and may your future be filled with wealth and success beyond measure. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and fellow people who want to be successful, I'm here today to give you a lesson that can change the way you think, inspire you to be great, and lead you to a life full of plenty. You're now on a journey to learn more about yourself, gain power, and master your money. Before you do anything else, I want you to keep your mind and heart open to what's possible. Because of a scarcity mindset, limiting beliefs, and self-doubt, many of us have been stuck for too long. But today is a turning point, a time of awareness and freedom. I want you to let go of the chains of failure and think like a millionaire as we start this journey together. Not because of outside events or a lucky break, but because of a big change in how we think, believe, and act. As you can see, the way to wealth and success is not just for a few people. Anyone who dares to walk it can get there. To go down this road, you need to be brave, determined, and fully committed at all times. But most importantly, it's a road that starts inside us, in the halls of our minds and in the depths of our souls. So let's start this trip with an open mind and an open heart. Let's question what is already true. Go against the odds and change the story of our lives. Right now, we're on the edge of what's possible, ready to take charge of our lives and make plans for a future full of plenty and happiness. We can find the keys to success, use the power of our minds and bring out the hidden potential in all of us if we work together. So I want you to come with me on this life-changing trip as we set out to become millionaires in both money and mind. Now is the time for change, and we have the power to make our lives better. A lot of people start their lives with nothing. To give you an example, in the United States, almost all of the money that is in circulation was made by the first generation. It mostly came from selling professional skills or a heritage that was built through hard work. To make money, you should always look for ways to make what you do more valuable. Choose to give more than you take. Add more than you take. Always do more than what is asked of you for the money you get. And always go a little further with your work. Bill once said, no one can prevent you from giving more than you were paid to do. And if you go beyond in everything you do, you will soon be in paradise. Keep in mind that there will never be traffic jams on that extra road. What can you do to make your work better? Follow the three-part rule. First, write down everything you do at work over the course of a week or month. The number of jobs you add could be 10, 20, or 30 in range and difficulty. Second, look over your list and ask yourself, which item on this list would be the most useful to my business or career if I could only do one thing all day? 
People who work in sales are asked what they could do to double their income the most. Third, once you know what action makes your work the most valuable, ask yourself again, what would be the second thing on my list if I could only do two things all day? Fourth, once you know your two main jobs, ask yourself again, what would be the third thing on my list if I could only do three things all day? Most of the time, the three things you do together will make up 90% or more of the value you bring to your work. What is the rule of three? To be successful, you should focus on three important tasks and spend as much time as possible getting better at each one. Third step, open your own business. These days, about 80% of self-made riches own their own businesses. They started with very little or nothing, but they worked hard to build something. And as business owners, they did very well. Today, you should decide to start your own business. Things will start to happen, even if you're an independent business owner. You create a field of energy when you start your own business that will bring opportunities into your life that will help you run the business. Know this. You need to sell something to start a business. When people first start, they are often shocked by how long it takes to talk to other people to get them to buy their goods or services. A lot of people give up on their projects because they're scared to sell them. What if you're afraid to sell? Think that your fear is just because you don't know how to do it. But that's also true when you're juggling knives or flying. You can reach your financial goals even if you don't have a skill that you could learn. You can learn how to sell well by taking a course, reading a book, or going to a meeting. To start a business, I need to find something I can sell for more than I paid for it. Why is that? In the past, all great fortunes began here. You can learn all the skills you need to run a business, make sales, and find resources. No one learns how to do everything at the start, like make a business plan, analyze the market, write ads, make a budget, figure out costs and prices, and promote the business. But you can learn anything. No one knows everything at first. It takes time for people to learn. You'll be great faster if you learn things quickly. You can use a sales or business skill again and again once you've learned it. British businessman Richard Branson was once asked what he thought about this subject. It's pretty much the same. Anyone can start and grow a business once they understand the basic steps. You can then use those steps to start many more businesses. Branson has tried his hand at music, planes, hot air balloons, and building resorts. He follows the same rules over and over, like bear molds. If he does them again and again and succeeds, you can too. Also, remember that each time you use a skill for business or getting resources, you get better at it. You do better work and make fewer mistakes. As I said before, 90% of people who start their own businesses succeed if they have experience. He can do this because he knows how to do it. As startups that have never run a business before end up going out of business. Try to learn as much as you can about business from all the information you can get your hands on. Not just before you start the business, but all the way through your job. Step four, have guts and skills. Right now, the most valuable things are also the ones that will help you start and grow your own business, strength and bravery. Everyone starts out with not much guts or skill, but keep in mind that doing what you're afraid of makes you brave. And using a skill you're not very good at makes you better at it. This is very important for you to understand because a lot of people think it this way. I'll make the call as soon as I feel good enough about myself. I'll do it when I feel brave and strong. No, no. That's not how things work. People must first do the things they are afraid of. That's how brave people get. An awful lot of people think I'll get to work on it as soon as I feel comfortable calling possible buyers or people we already have. No, though. It gets better over time. At first, you just do things, even if you're not very good at them. Being smart about what you sell and who you sell it to is a key part of being successful in business. Start with the same question we do. Who is your customer when someone knocks on the door? Why should someone buy something? What does he think is important? You should know who your customers are and why they buy from you. What specific perks do you want your customer to get from your service or product? It should be clear to the customer what they will get from your ads and presentations. Lack of clarity is the main reason why sales fail. Because if the potential buyer doesn't fully understand, it makes it harder to close the deal. The buyer says, let me think about it. Which is another way of saying goodbye for good because he isn't sure what he will get out of buying your product or service. What makes the life or work of your customer better with your product or service? Always keep in mind that psychology studies have shown that customers buy based on how they feel after the sale. To put it another way, they want to know what would happen if I bought your product or service. 
It's important for the customer to clearly picture himself in a better position in the future. After making the purchase, you are giving him something that will make him better off than if he spent his money on something else. I'm going to ask you something. How come people don't buy from you? What is stopping them if it's clear that your service or product is right for them? Why do they say no? What do they think? And why does that make them delay? You could even double your sales and income, build a great business, and become financially free if you could find and fix the problem. In what ways do you compete? What makes your customer want to buy from them from the point of view of your customer? How do they see it? What's better about what the rival has to offer? How could you figure this out? How to make your competitor's edge less strong? What your rival sell can be switched out for something you do better? How is your value offering different from other ones? In this case, I mean something that only you can give a customer that makes them want to pay for it. What gives you an edge over your competitors? What makes your service or product better than those of your competitors? What do you do really well? What makes your service or product better than all the others? All of these questions are important for business growth. You won't be able to make an ad, make a good business presentation, or even find your customers if you don't know what makes your product or service special. When you first start your business, you should spend 80% of your time and energy on sales and getting new customers. Businesses that do well all have one thing in common. They make a lot of money. Things that fail, on the other hand, don't sell much. Start small and test carefully and step by step if you don't have a lot of money at first. Step 5. Pay attention to your cash flow. Grow your business until it makes money and has cash flow. To start the journey, you don't have to risk everything or sell your house and car. You can begin with a small business and little money. And as you go along, you can learn the skills you need. Write down everything you do in great detail. Know where your money goes and where it comes from at all times. A lot of new businesses think they're making a 100% return when they buy something for 50 cents. They sell it for dollar one. They're shocked to find that they are losing money at the end of the month. This is because they didn't think about the cost of gas, rent, utilities, food, shipping, their own pay, and other costs. Some business owners don't understand that they can go out of business even with a 100% markup. You should know where your money goes and where it comes from. I think you should make a list. Write down every dollar you earn and spend. All of this is important for the base of your accounts. Get an online accounting system even better and make sure that all of your data is added to it every day. Pay attention to how much money you'll make after taking out all of your costs. Make sure that the work and money you're putting into something is worth it. Look at the cash flow. Good cash flow, which is another name for this number, is the most important number in any business. This flow is like blood and air getting to the brain of your business. If the money stops coming in for a while, your business could shut down overnight. Always keep this in mind and pay close attention to it. Don't lose money. That's the first rule of business. A very rich person once said that he had two rules. The first was to never lose money, and the second was to always follow the first rule if he felt like giving up. When you lose money, you also lose the time it took to make it. That's why it's better for your money to stay in the bank and earn interest. That being said, it's not just about the money, it's also about time. The weeks, months, and even years of our lives are also up for grabs. As I wrap up my speech, I want to leave you with one last thought. The path to becoming a millionaire starts with a single step, but it continues with consistent action, unwavering confidence, and unwavering determination. Remember that the path ahead may be hard and full of setbacks and hurdles, but it is also full of chances and rewards for those who are brave enough to follow their dreams. As you leave today, I want you to take with you the fire of inspiration, the spark of possibility, and the determination to go after your goals in a brave and determined way. Make a promise to develop the attitude of a millionaire, one of plenty, optimism, and strength. Accept that failure is a step towards success, that setbacks are chances to learn and grow, and the challenges are tests of your character and determination. Most importantly, never lose sight of your goal. Stay strong in your resolve and settle for anything less than the amazing life you were meant to live. For within you lies the power to build the life of your dreams, to achieve financial independence, and to leave a legacy that will endure for generations to come. So go forth, my friends, and take the day. Transform your attitude, unleash your potential, and claim the abundant life that awaits you. And remember, the journey to becoming a millionaire starts not with the size of your bank account, 
but with the richness of your thoughts, the depth of your beliefs, and the strength of your actions. Dare to dream, dare to hope, and dare to become the millionaire you were always meant to be.